BrainWise presents Grade 6, Math, Quiz B, Part 5 Mathletes, assemble! It's time to power up your brains and get ready for the ultimate math showdown here on BrainWise. Today, we're testing our skills with a quiz that's packed with exciting challenges. Think you have what it takes to be crowned the mathlete of the day? Let's find out! Easy round. Number 1. A fair die is tossed. What is the probability of rolling an odd number? Again, a fair die is tossed. What is the probability of rolling an odd number? The choices are A. 1 out of 2 B. 1 out of 3 C. 2 out of 3 D. 1 out of 6 The correct answer is A. 1 out of 2 Number 2 A fair die is tossed What is the probability of rolling a prime number? Again A fair die is tossed What is the probability of rolling a prime number? The choices are A. 1 out of 2 B. 1 out of 3 C. 2 out of 3 D. 1 out of 6 The correct answer is A. 1 out of 2 Number 3 Raffle tickets are numbered from 1 to 40 A ticket is picked at random What is the probability of picking a multiple of 5? Again Raffle tickets are numbered from 1 to 40 A ticket is picked at random What is the probability of picking a multiple of 5? The choices are A. 1 out of 5 B. 1 out of 10 C. 1 out of 40 D. 3 out of 40. The correct answer is A. 1 out of 5. Number 4. Raffle tickets are numbered from 1 to 40. A ticket is picked at random. What is the probability of picking the number 7? Again. Raffle tickets are numbered from 1 to 40. A ticket is picked at random. What is the probability of picking the number 7? The choices are A. 1 out of 5 B. 1 out of 10 C. 1 out of 40 D. 3 out of 40 The correct answer is C. 1 out of 40 Number 5. The heights of a group of basketball players are 180 centimeters, 195 centimeters, 200 centimeters, 185 centimeters, and 210 centimeters. What is the range of their heights? Again, the heights of a group of basketball players are 180 centimeters, 195 centimeters, 200 centimeters, 185 centimeters, and 210 centimeters. What is the range of their heights? The choices are A. 20 centimeters, B. 25 centimeters, C. 30 centimeters, D. 35 centimeters. The correct answer is C. 30 centimeters. Boom! First round conquered, Mathletes! You guys are on fire! But don't get too comfy because the next round is coming in hot! Stay focused, stay sharp, and let's keep those brains blazing! Average round. Number 1. Students collected and recorded the weight of old newspapers for five months. What is the difference between the total collection of grades 4 and grade 5? Again, students collected and recorded the weight of old newspapers for 5 months. What is the difference between the total collection of grades 4 and grade 5? The choices are A. 20 kilograms B. 30 kilograms C. 25 kilograms D. 35 kilograms
The correct answer is B. 30 kilograms. Number 2. A spinner has 8 equal sections numbered 1 through 8. What is the probability of spinning an even number or a number greater than 5? Again, a spinner has 8 equal sections numbered 1 through 8. What is the probability of spinning an even number or a number greater than 5? The choices are A. 1 out of 2 B. 5 out of 8 C. 3 out of 4 D. 7 out of 8 The correct answer is B. 5 out of 8. Number 3. A list of numbers is 12, 15, 18, 20, 22. If a new number is added to the list and the median changes to 19, what could be the new number? Again, a list of numbers is 12, 15, 18, 20, 22. If a new number is added to the list and the median changes to 19, what could be the new number? The choices are A. 16 B. 17 C. 19 D. 21 The correct answer is C. 19. Number 4. A small sample of 20 students is taken from a school of 400. In the sample, 15 students prefer pizza over burgers. What is the most reasonable inference about the entire school? Again, a small sample of 20 students is taken from a school of 400. In the sample, 15 students prefer pizza over burgers. What is the most reasonable inference about the entire school? The choices are A. Exactly 300 students prefer pizza B. Exactly 75% of students prefer pizza C. Approximately 300 students prefer pizza D. Approximately 75 students prefer pizza The correct answer is C. Approximately 300 students prefer pizza. Number 5. A bar graph shows the number of books read by students in a class. The bars are 5 books 3 students, 6 books 5 students, 7 books for students, 8 books to students. What is the total number of students in the class? Again, a bar graph shows the number of books read by students in a class. The bars are 5 books 3 students, 6 books 5 students, 7 books for students, 8 books to students. What is the total number of students in the class? The choices are A. 12 B. 13 C. 14 D. 15 The correct answer is C. 14. Wow! You guys are unstoppable! The challenges are getting tougher, but your math skills are shining through. Now, brace yourselves for the final round! It's time to unleash your inner math lead superpower! Difficult round. Number 1. A school wants to investigate the relationship between study habits and test scores. They have 800 students with 300 in grade 6, 250 in grade 7, and 250 in grade 8. They decide to take a stratified sample of 10% proportional to grade level and gender. 
If 60% of students in each grade are girls, how many boys from grade 7 should be included in the sample? Again, a school wants to investigate the relationship between study habits and test scores. They have 800 students with 300 in grade 6, 250 in grade 7, and 250 in grade 8. They decide to take a stratified sample of 10% proportional to grade level and gender. If 60% of students in each grade are girls, how many boys from grade 7 should be included in the sample? The choices are A. 5 B. 10 C. 15 D. 20 The correct answer is B, 10. Number two, a student records the daily temperature for a week, 25 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. Which data point is likely an outlier and how would it affect the average temperature? Again, a student records the daily temperature for a week, 25 degrees Celsius, 26 degrees Celsius, 24 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. Which data point is likely an outlier and how would it affect the average temperature? The choices are A. 24 degrees Celsius, it would decrease the average. B. 27 degrees Celsius, it would increase the average. C. 40 degrees Celsius, it would significantly increase the average. D. 25 degrees Celsius, it would have no effect on the average. The correct answer is C. 40 degrees Celsius. It would significantly increase the average. Number 3. A student conducts a survey to find the average time spent on homework. They survey 30 students from grade 6, 40 students from grade 7, and 30 students from grade 8. The average time for grade 6 is 1.5 hours, for grade 7 is 2 hours, and for grade 8 is 2.5 hours. What is the weighted average time spent on homework for all students surveyed? Again, a student conducts a survey to find the average time spent on homework. They survey 30 students from grade 6, 40 students from grade 7, and 30 students from grade 8. The average time for grade 6 is 1.5 hours, for grade 7 is 2 hours, and for grade 8 is 2.5 hours. What is the weighted average time spent on homework for all students surveyed? The choices are A. 1.8 hours B. 2 hours C. 2.1 hours D. 2.2 hours The correct answer is B. 2 hours. Number 4. A fitness app claims that users lose an average of 5 pounds per month. However, they only track the cumulative weight loss of users who have used the app for at least 6 months, ignoring users who stopped using it earlier. If 100 users started, but only 20 completed 6 months, and their total weight loss was 600 pounds, what is the actual average weight loss per user who started the program? And why is the app's claim misleading? 
Again, a fitness app claims that users lose an average of 5 pounds per month. However, they only track the cumulative weight loss of users who have used the app for at least 6 months, ignoring users who stopped using it earlier. If 100 users started, but only 20 completed 6 months, and their total weight loss was 600 pounds, what is the actual average weight loss per user who started the program? And why is the app's claim misleading? The choices are A. 30 pounds, misleading because it only considers successful users. B. 6 pounds, misleading because it ignores the time frame. C. 12 pounds, misleading because it uses cumulative data instead of individual. D. 5 pounds, misleading because it doesn't account for the initial users. The correct answer is B. 6 pounds, misleading because it ignores the time frame. Number 5. A bag contains 5 red balls and 3 blue balls. Two balls are drawn without replacement. What is the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is blue? Again, a bag contains 5 red balls and 3 blue balls. Two balls are drawn without replacement. What is the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is blue? The choices are A. 15 out of 56 B. 15 out of 64 C. 1 out of 4 D. 3 out of 8 The correct answer is A. 15 out of 56. Victory! You guys crushed it! Give yourselves a champion's cheer! You face every challenge with courage and determination. Remember, mathletes, you're all winners! Keep pushing your limits, keep learning, and keep having fun with math! Don't forget to smash the like button, share this video! And subscribe to our channel for more epic math battles! Math Star in the making. Keep practicing and shining. Post your score in the comments. Check out other videos from BrainWise.